Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you my first year students, most wanted lecture exercise number 3.5, question number 1 solved by grammar rule, no wasting time, three equations, so the coefficient matrix is 2, 3, 5, 2, minus 2, 1 and 1, 2, minus 2, minus 3, we shall let it as A, the matrix of coefficient 2, 2, 1. Coefficient, the arrangement should be same. x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. 3 minus 2, minus 2. And 5, 1, minus 3. So now we shall take determinant. So here determinant, we shall convert this matrix into determinant. A, 2, 2, 1, 3, minus 2, minus 2, 5, 1, minus 3. Now, we shall write first of all we are expanding it by row 1. Here, element number 1, 1. Row 1, column 1, 1 plus 1, 2, positive. Element number 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, odd, negative. Element number 1, 3, 1 plus 3, 4, positive. Plus, minus, plus. Then we shall write the elements 2, 2, 1. 2, 2, 1. And then we shall take minus M11 mean row 1 delete, column 1 delete, these 4 left. 1, 2 mean row 1, column 2 delete, these 4 came in the M1, 2. And for M1, 3, row 1 and column 1 delete, these 4. Determinant we can find easily. Minus 3 into minus 2, 6. Minus of formula, minus 2. 3 into minus 3, minus of formula, minus 10. Similarly as here. So we have 8 and 1 and 13. 16 minus 2, 13. So here, here which is not equal to 0. It means its inverse is possible. A is non-singular matrix. A is non-singular matrix. Is its, inver its inverse is possible. So, it is non-singular matrix. So, we can find a solution. Now we shall go to find D1, D2 and D3. So guys, now we shall find D1, D2 and D3. For D1, we shall change the column number 1 by 3, 1, 2. For D2, we shall change the column number 2 for D2. And for D3, we shall change the column number 3 by 3, 1, 2. The other two columns will remain the same. In the red, the column remains the same. The second and third column remain same here. First and third here. And second and first here. Now we shall find D1, D2 and D2 as we find determinant of A. So I will not waste your time. I have calculated it. You may calculate by watching as I have found A, determinant A. So D1 answer will be 27, D2, 0 and D3 is also 27. Now we shall find X, Y, or X we can find by D1 divided by determinant of A, Y, D2 by determinant of A and Z, D3 divided by determinant of A. So value of X will be 1, value of Y will be 0 and value of Z will also be we are putting these values here. 2, 1 is a 2 and 1, 3. 3 plus 0, 3. So this is very simple. Cramer rule, just find determinant 4 times and your 5 marks are there. Now go for the second question, solved by matrices, matrix inversion method.